Ice cream and summer, they go together. And my next guest recently came up with a super fun way to serve up ice cream at home all season long. Check out this ice cream charcuterie board. Megan Brown joining me through the screen to give us the scoop. I had to deliver on that. I had to deliver on that. Our producer, I'm sure, was giggling out loud as she wrote that. Here with the scoop. It looks like sort of an extravagant touch to the dessert, dessert bar. Would you say this is an easy board to build? Absolutely, it's our favorite. You can just top your board with all of your favorite toppings that you put on an ice cream sundae or on an ice cream cone and serve it and let everyone just build their dream ice cream creation. And it is just truly so fun. People just appreciate it with such excitement and enjoyment. Well, I think joy is a perfect word because if I'm scooping the ice cream, I mean, it's an okay day, but if my kids get free reign on some sort of a, you know, build your own opportunity, that takes the fun over the top. So we're seeing a video. Talk us through how you assembled this, Megan. Absolutely. I start by putting all of my toppings on the board first. So I usually get a large board. I put a galvanized bucket in the middle that we will put our ice cream at the very end. What's a and galvanized bucket? Will, it's like a tray? Um, it's like a tray, so it's a little like, like a tub, and you can, it has sides to it. So you can use any sort of container in yeah. the middle of your board, but certainly a galvanized bucket is fun and cute and holds A galvanized really, really tray, well. cute, cute. Yes, so, and I then just put a variety of toppings. Some of our favorites are chocolate, mini chocolate chips, mini M&Ms, nuts, of course. We've got sprinkles, we've got cherries, and you couldn't have an ice cream sundae without some caramel, marshmallow cream and hot fudge. So we just put all of this on there. We've got mini um, marshmallows, Reese's Pieces, whatever your crowd would enjoy the most. Put it on the board along with a variety of cones. I love these little waffle bowls. They're one of our favorites because you can actually eat the bowl that you create your ice cream sundae in. And um, then I, we also have little mini cones, which you can find at most major grocery stores. And of course, just regular bowls and just let everyone just have so much fun building a ice cream sundae creation. Oh, the freedom, the creativity, I love it all. Maybe you mentioned this, what size of ice cream containers do you recommend? Okay, I love going with the little one pint because you can put a variety of flavors out so everyone's happy. I usually put a chocolate, a vanilla, a strawberry, a mint chocolate chip, sometimes a Rocky Road, cookies and cream, and I'll put them out in the galvanized bucket. And then I fill the bucket with ice around it so that ice cream stays Nice oh, and smart, yes. And everyone is serving it. That way you can serve it longer and you can serve it um, to a lot of people so that they can just file through and build their own creation. Okay, that's super smart. Enter the galvanized yeah. tray. That becomes your friend. Uh, we know the traditional toppings. I'm seeing the sprinkles, the cherries, the nuts. Are there any yeah. toppings you put on the board that have become surprisingly popular crowd pleasers? Yes, well, you know, the little ones, I see those put those little gum, gummy bears on there. They love that. Yes. Um, peanut butter cups, they come in little mini ones. You can find those at Trader Joe's. Um, sometimes at Target, they'll have those. Of course, strawberries, you know, just any candies. The crushed, like, Keith bars are really good. Any crushed candy, Snickers always go over well. Oreos, I'll usually put some... Oreo cookies or some chocolate chip cookies out on there that they can crumble over their ice cream creation. So really there's no rules to this board. Anything goes. It looked like in the video you sliced the banana but left it in the peel. Was that purposeful? Yes, that's a yes. That's a, one of my tricks to easily serving it and letting everyone know what, what that exactly is. It's a great way to just protect the board but also serve the banana just right there on the peel. I like that, I like that. Where I mean, are you sourcing all of your board building accessories? That, that's part of the fun is that well, presentation. Course, yes, yes, of course my board, uh, my dad builds all of our boards, so we, that's where, my, where I build all my boards on. And then all the little jars and bowls and uh, spreaders and so forth I get from a variety of places. I love finding new places. Amazon, Target, Williams-Sonoma World Market, um, the bakermom.com, I actually have a shop page where I link out to all of my favorite board building accessories. So if you're looking for something unique or special or just to have on hand, go check it out. Nice. Well, I like the idea, and I've done this in past seasons of like, 
setting the stage with something. Like, is the ice cream board gonna be your thing this summer? Get what you need, you know, have your, have your back stock ready so when those moments hit, those summer moments hit, you can just whisk it out and suddenly it's an instant party. I did that with a, with a hot chocolate bar over the winter. We did it with a s'mores situation last summer. So I like the idea of being ahead of it, right? Being prepared and you can capitalize on those potential party moments, in the moment party moments when they happen. Yes, you can have all of this on hand to create a special yeah. celebration or just a fun moment with friends and family anytime. All right, well, thank you for the inspiration, Megan. Where can we find more from you? Uh, so you can find more on thebakermama.com as well as on social at The Baker Mom on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. All right, we'll meet you there. Thank you so much, sister. Thanks, Rick.